In this training tutorial, we will enter a reinforced concrete slab bridge as the Ashtaware Bridge Design and Rating Software, version 7.0. This example is example A7 from the Manual for Bridge Evaluation. It is a simple span reinforced concrete slab bridge. In this example, we will enter the physical description of a superstructure, and then, for an interior slab member, we will perform an LRFD design review, a load and resistance factor rating, a load factor rating, and an allowable stress rating. This training course consists of three short videos in which we will cover the following topics. This first video covers creating the bridge and entering bridge components such as reinforcing steel and concrete materials and appurtenances. The second video covers creating the simple span superstructure definition and describing the slab members of the superstructure. The third and final video covers selecting the analysis setting, including entering a permit and legal vehicles and viewing the results output of the analysis. We will now continue with video one, creating the bridge and entering bridge components. This training video was created prior to the release of BRDR version 7.0. As such, it shows an internal release build number and date. The version number and release date of the release version of BRDR 7.0 will be different from what is shown on this login screen. Double click the BRDR icon to start the software. Enter bridge for the username and for the password. Click the ellipsis button to open the Manage Connections window, where we can select the database to use in this session. The BRDR is delivered with two sample databases that contain example bridges that new users can use to explore the software. Select the database ending in 70S. Click OK to return to the Connect window and then OK to log into the software. Click the New button in the ribbon to create a new bridge. The bridge ID and NBI structure ID are identifying values defined by your agency and uniquely define the bridge. We will enter MBE A7 as our bridge ID, MBI structure ID, and the name of our bridge. We will enter the year built as 1963. The upper right hand corner of the bridge window displays the type of structure that can be described in BRDR. These checkboxes control display of the selected items in the bridge workspace tree. Since this example is only defining superstructure, we will turn off the display of culverts and substructures in our example. Click OK to close this window and save the data to memory. Now switch to the Components tab in the Bridge workspace. This Components tab is where we will enter items that get used throughout our superstructure, such as appurtenances and materials. We will describe the barrier using a generic appurtenance. Expand the tree under Appurtenances and double-click on Generic to create a generic appurtenance to describe the barrier. Enter the following information. As this is a generic appurtenance, the user is responsible for entering the load per foot of the appurtenance and the location of the centroid of the appurtenance load. Click OK to close the window and save the data to memory. As we enter our bridge and click OK on the windows, our data is being stored in memory, but it has not yet been stored to the database. Click on the Save button in the Workspace ribbon to save our bridge to the database. You should save your bridge to the database on a regular basis as you are entering your data. The next items will be to create the slab concrete material and the reinforcing steel material. Expand materials and double click on the concrete folder to create a new concrete material. Enter the following data. Click the Compute button to have the BRDR compute the material properties for you based on the data you just entered. Click OK on this window to save the data to memory. Double-click on Reinforcing Steel folder 
and click the Copy from Library button. Select the Grade 40 Steel Material and click OK to select it. Click OK to close the Reinforcing Steel Material window. Click the Save button on the ribbon to save this data to your database. We are now done with creating the components to be used in our bridge. Switch back to the Bridge tab and you can see all the components we have just created.